record. <laughs> All right, we're going to record. It is, as I say, Monday. It is not Monday. It is Tuesday, September 3rd. Um, we are coming with our team call to kick off the month of September. Today, we are going to talk. Um, well, we'll go into recognition first. Neil will share his screen and we will kick it off with that. All righty. Give me one second here. My Zoom go. There's your Zoom. Zoom. Zoom, Zoom on the Yamaha. All right, here we go. All right, sweet. Whoops, no, I want to share, I want to present. There you go. All right, here we go. First off, we have volume. So this is the volume reset. Uh, this is for pay week ending tomorrow. So uh, a few days of September, a few days of August, but this is the current week's volume. So we have... Uh, Few people on the board already have already got orders going through. So I'm order pumpkin spice today. Ooh, ooh. Um, so that's good there. We have our update diamond um, graphic here. Mm -hmm. Ashley's got some. Ashley, some new, you have some a new blue circles on the board. Bunch of blue circles on the board now, girlfriend. I know. Have, See, all that can change. Yep. Yeah, we have Brooke with two on the left, two on the right. That's Neil awesome. has three on yeah. the left, three on the right. Yeah. Heather doesn't currently have any active. Um, Paula does two on her left. Emily's got one on her left, two on her right. Casey has one on her right. Tamara has one on her left and four on her right. Awesome. And Amber still. Um, is at zero for the moment. So yeah, that's where we are with coaches and diamond rank. Yeah. Uh, success club for last month, August. We had Tamara at twelve, Ashley at six, Emily and Tammy both had two. New coaches for September. So the three days basically uh, for September. Tamara has one new coach. Mm -hmm. Success club for September. So Tamara <laughs> says this is September. <laughs> Tamara's at four, and Morgan Bush uh, also has two points. So, and then any other wins that anybody wants to chime in with? Yeah. So Tamara, do you have any? I do. So I um, was able to help Judith today with pumpkin spice, um, and she ended up getting some energized. So no. Nope. Uh, successful points for that but that's still amazing Perfect, volume yeah. super excited for her um she's been one of my customers for a while and decided to hop back in i know a couple of our coaches also got pumpkin spice so that really got some of that volume up yeah. for us which yeah, is awesome yeah. ashley what about you um i have one of my discount coaches crystal got her pumpkin spice today and she also ordered beach bars i believe it was the first time she got the beach bars so mm -hmm. i'm excited for that and then a huge win is Caleb got started on Recover, and he's ready to start his wellness journey, so I'm really excited for that. Oh, that's exciting, yeah. Did you guys get it ordered yesterday? Um, yes, got it ordered yesterday. Because <laughs> I was like, yeah, the end of Labor Day, I got a reminder, you know. So. Yeah. <laughs> With this guy, so, yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, that's a great, that's a great uh, tip for everybody, too. If, you're, if you do order, like, a pumpkin spice or something like that, or just order – uh, all those extra products are heavily discounted or not heavily, yeah. but you, you'll save at least $5 off Energize, you know, $5 off collagen, you know, three day refresh is like 10% yeah. off still in the, in the when beach you bars it, yeah. are still 10% off. So you get a lot of deals uh, if you're doing the lat ons to do that. So. Yeah. All righty. I am stopping my screen share. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. I'm like, what am I doing? I'm going <laughs> I'm trying to, well, I'm trying to like see where my where my buttons are so my screen so I can see what I wanted to share. Okay, so I'll just go over just a little bit of housekeeping. So this Thursday we have that the Stronger Together series calls still happening this Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. So that's seven Mountain, eight Central. 9 Eastern, so at 9 Eastern, which a lot of us are on Eastern, um, there is a call with Paul Francisco. He's been a coach for a long time, and it is how to rank advance, how rank advancement affects your potential income, or your income potential, excuse me. So how rank advancement affects your income potential. So that'll be a really cool one. Again, these Stronger Together series calls, if you go into Team Give Fam and you click on announcements, um, 
but you'll start to see a couple posts. It's like a black and white picture of two coaches there, Robert and Melissa Hudgens, and you'll start to see like stronger together words. Just read the whole thing and you can see where the, the playbacks are for these calls, the link that's used for these calls, and then um, upcoming call schedules. So I just want to let everybody know that this Thursday, there is one of those calls because these change depending on the leader's availability and their schedule. Um, the next one is Melanie Bolin. So, um, so this Thursday, there's one at six um, Pacific time, nine Eastern. Um, and then next week, and I'm sharing next week's because um, I'll, I'll share why, but I'm going to go ahead and share next week's now. Um, next week's will be Wednesday, same time, six Pacific, nine Eastern. And it's the benefits of building volume and understanding and how a second coach business center works. So um, really like basically like, I'm guessing it'll be a little bit about get a second business center, why that helps your volume, how to get your second business center. Um, so that, that are our two calls. These will be in team give. And then I'll also make sure that those, um, go in our email. So I send an email out every Sunday, um, reminding everybody of the call. I also wanted to take this time to let you guys know that next Tuesday, our call will be off. We're not going to have a call, but we're going to take this time to do, um, what's called the Enneagram. And some of you might've already done this Enneagram test. Am I saying that right? Sure. <laughs> um, this Enneagram test and it will if this is something really fun that I would love to do um, I'll make sure that this that the link for the test goes into what's up Brooke I just saw her pop on um, that it goes into a our email so you'll get an email from me if you're not getting emails from me just let me know and, and also check your spam folder because if you don't open some of them it just automatically starts going to spam um, but I'll also post the link to take that Enneagram test in team give fam. So I'll pre-schedule that. Um, but that's what the call is for next Tuesday. And then we'll take some time to go over that in, later in the month, most likely like what everybody's Enneagram was. So I'll remind everybody. Um, the next thing is really just getting into the talk for tonight. Um, so Neil and I are really excited about this one. We are um, going to do a couples challenge and it's right around the corner for us to start this. Um, let me share my screen. Okay, let me get to the actual. Let me get to my web page. Oh, no. Let me go here. www.tamarabrack.com. All right. I hope that we're still good. I know Ashley froze. Are we? Well, I guess I'm moving on your screen. So I'm like, oh, there's Ashley. I'm like, I don't know if we're good. I was like, I hope that we're okay. She thought out. She thought out. <laughs> All right. Let me share my screen so that you guys can see it. Okay, let me actually go back a hot minute. So this is this is not what I'm expecting you guys to do by any means. This is just because I have a website and this is like part of what I love. But um, basically I just went to my website and I'm just showing you guys this from here. Um, and I click on wellness accountability and what we're gonna do next month is our couples challenge. One of the reasons why I have this on my website is because next week I'm personally going out of town and Neil and I are actually taking a ton of time off. Um, well, not time, we're gonna take the whole week off. So we kind of talked about the couples challenge briefly, what it is, just a little sneak peek. We will change this video, possibly, most likely, into more of a specific details, but we're not gonna film that until we're at the beach when we have like really high good energy. Um, but we were talking about the, the couples challenge. Welcome to the call, Bobby. Bobby's our newest coach. Um, welcome, girl. And so um, we are talking about the couples challenge tonight with you guys to just let you know that you are welcomed into this challenge. Um, the challenge is itself is something that you can do yourself or it's something that you can invite to and it's something you can invite to or if you have something else that you want to do for your September challenge you have us you have another challenge group do that the main thing that I want all of our existing coaches to know is this challenge is not technically going to be held outside of our current fitness community so um, what will happen is we will have a Facebook page that is titled Couples Challenge. Um, and then, are we unmuted on? Oh, okay. Um, so we'll have a Facebook page that's titled Couples Challenge. And um, in that page, it's just going to house basically the information for this group. So anybody that signs up will be in that group. But that's not going to be where you share your accountability check-ins, anything like that. You're still going to be in Be Well. That's basically just an info group for those that signed up for the Couples Challenge. We'll kick off on September 30th with a really fun Zoom call. And there's points for everything that you attend. So there's five points if you attend the Zoom call. The cool thing is we're going to do a $50 prize to the winning couple. So $50 Amazon gift card. So there's points earned um, a couple different ways. Let me go over here. 
to my, is it work chat? Yeah, work chat. That's not work chat, this is work chat. Couples challenge with Neil. Money machine. Money machine. I don't know, we'll have to read that one. Um, okay, so our, our points are gonna be when people join our kickoff call, so that Zoom call, um, when people do a workout with their partner, and it can be virtual or it can be in person. Um, when people log their Shakeology or recover, um, when people log a workout, and then when people have a weekly accountability meeting with their partner. So this is really to encourage accountability. So partner can be your spouse or partner can be um, a best friend. So that's one thing that Neil put, Neil put the words, couples don't have to be romantic, platonic friends are welcomed. I told him I did not, I not know, that's not a word in my vocabulary. Um, but we will give you guys basically a tracking sheet. I have not made that yet. Um, but it's gonna be really cool to just like allow that time when you guys come together for you guys to just to be like, you can look in your app and you can be like, oh, did I track my workout? Did I track my, my Shakeology or my recover? Because some people are gonna be on recover. Some people are gonna be on Shakeology. But basically, like if you're and your spouse are both on, or you and your couple are both on, supplements, you're going to be getting more points to go towards the challenge. Um, so again, this is open to people that are not in our current wellness groups. Let me go back to here. Um, yeah, so right here, beach, uh, challenge requires beach body on demand and beach body supplements for full participation. So basically you can be in there, but you're not going to get any points if you're not using the supplement, you're not going to get points on that section. Um, but then we also said there are going to be some couples where the husband wants to work out at the gym and the wife wants to use her beach body on demand. So we totally get that that could happen. Um, but anyways, we just wanted to let you guys know that that's what we're doing. We're really excited for it. We're not going to start inviting until we are personally back from vacation. I'll show you guys a calendar just so that that makes a little bit more sense. Um, but that's just because again, we're just, we're just out of town. Um, okay. So our kickoff call is right here. I actually need to move this to right here. Um, is right here on the 30th and that'll be in the evening on 30th, Monday, the 30th. Um, so we will start inviting personally right here. So we'll start inviting when we get back, we're just going to be inviting to that for a solid two weeks. Um, and then we'll switch gears just so you guys know ahead of time that we'll switch gears and do a business op invite. And then I'll kind of go with this cycle again, where I take like a week to just chill and be a normal person on social media, not advertising anything. <laughs> so, um, was there anything else that you wanted to cover about couples challenge? No, I mean, there's not too much. Uh, we didn't put out a lot of, we wanted to get an outline so everybody kind of knew what was going on mm -hmm. in case they wanted to join or in case they had people they might be interested in joining. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just something that me and Tamara kind of had because, because we are a couple and we, uh, tend to attract some some couples and it might be fun for some husbands to engage or some other people to have some different things so this is something we wanted to do and uh, you guys are all welcome to join and invite people um, but you also don't have to so yeah just know if you just want to stick with uh, you know something that works if you want to do a lift four or you want to focus on something different by all means do it but be inviting to something, have something that yeah. you're running or involved in or just something yeah. that you're excited about to, uh, to invite to. So. Yeah. And I know like one thing, like for example, Bobby is a newer coach. Um, and I know like Ashley runs a group and she's in the same group as me. So you guys know that anytime you can add people to be well community at any time. Um, part of the reason why we're doing the couples challenge is there was a big request for Neil to start doing something with just the dudes, just men. Um, from our coaches and just from other people that are outside of our community. We're asking if Neil had a man's group. And so we we're like, well, what would be fun for us to do that's not feeling like Neil's having to go and do this big, huge, separate thing? So there will be some sort of, and he's not even telling me like the name of his group, but there is going to be some sort of man's group that he has been saving a whole bunch of memes for and a whole bunch of funny stuff that he will not post and he won't even share it with me because he doesn't want me to steal it. So. That means that we have to up the game and be well community ladies. And also that means we're going to probably kick all the dudes out of be well community and let them know that Neil now has a man's group. Um, so anybody that's watching the playback that has a husband and be well, your husband might be kicked out. Um, or there's a couple, I know there's a couple other guys that are in that group too, that like I've helped sign up or Haley's helped sign up other people. So 
Um, but anyways, so we're really excited about this. We think it's going to be really fun to just do. If you guys have any questions, by all means, feel free to ask them because um, this is open. But yeah, like Neil said, just you can all people can always come into our community groups. This is just kind of an extra fun little thing that we thought would be good. And, and we like to have dates that we're inviting to instead of just like a, it's always open, even though it technically is always open. It just helps us to really invite and be like, no, no. Challenge group actually starts on the 30th. Right. We're starting prep week that, that week. So basically the whole first week of October is prep week. Like you have to get your order in so that you don't miss out on starting on the 30th with us. So that's weird. Do you see how the calendar did that? That's crazy. That is crazy. Sorry. I'm not sharing my <laughs> screen anymore. My calendar was, was messing up. Um, okay. The last thing that I want to share about Braylon, I'm so sorry, but I can't, I can't come up there right now. Okay. Just a couple, this go lay down, please. I can check on you in a minute. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> Wheels go check on you girl. Oh, of course we girl. Okay. Sorry. I'm going back to my notes. Okay. So the last thing I'm not screen sharing anymore now. No, no. The last thing that I wanted to do tonight is I'm actually going to let you guys go pretty soon. Um, I wanted to just go ahead and give something that you guys can do on your own private time and share why I wanted to, ooh, your own private time, why I wanted you guys to do this. <laughs> no, that's not what it is. Um, okay, so this is about money mindset. So I've been listening to this, um, gosh, I probably listen to it every other week, like at least three times. And it's this TED Talk type thing that I found from a company called Mind Valley, And it's really helped me with my own money mindset. And I was like, if it's helping me this much, I bet that it could help other people. I should really share this with the team. Um, and so I um, wanted to just share this with you guys. So I'll share the link in the chat. I'll actually go ahead and share that just so that if you guys want to copy and paste it out, you have it. So that's the link to it. And um, I wanted to just kind of share my background and why I wanted you guys to, to know this one. So I grew up really not having to worry about money like ever. Um, so my relationship with money is um, a lot different than what she speaks about in th this call. She kind of talks a lot about like not having money and I kind of was like, I oh, feel bad because that's not how I grew up. And then I'm like, that's not what this practice is about. Keep listening. And so, um, so I felt like it, money has just, should just come to me. Like I've always felt like that. And, um, and I've kind of felt like, but that's not how it's supposed to be. But then you listen to these money guru people, these, like these positive affirmation type type things and they're like yes you should be speaking money should come to you effortlessly money should come to you because you work hard you should, you know you attract money into your life and so I've kind of been having like these mixed messages of like of that but anyways doing this practice practice actually triggered some memories of mine that reminded me of times that and I'm sharing these ones with you um, so that you kind of can see my story and see maybe how it could help you with your own story even though it's probably going to be different but there was this one time that my mom and I went out and we bought a minivan Okay, so she had a Honda Odyssey, she traded it in, she got a different Honda Odyssey, and she didn't even ask dad. Okay, so mom and I were really excited, we come home, and dad was like, what's wrong with the other minivan? Like, why did you go and get this? And so our excitement was instantly depleted. And so I'm saying this because, first of all, that was not a good example for my mom, because that is a big purchase, and that is something that couples should talk about. But second, it depleted my excitement, so I realized, like, having something that you're excited about is bad. That's bad. Even though I will say, I still feel like that's a little extreme mom really should have talked to dad about a minivan. Like that's kind of a, too big of a purchase. Okay. But then there was also this time that, and bless my mom, I love her. And I have to use her as the example because she's the one that's, that was around the most when I was a kid. Um, so there was this time that mom looked at me and said really angrily, I was like in high school. And she was like, the only reason you want to hang out with me is because we're going shopping together. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And I instantly was like de depleted again. So I really loved that time with my mom. It was like, we would go to the mall, we would try on clothes, we would eat food or maybe a dessert and we would go home and we'd be all giddy. And now I like, to this day, I still can't go shopping with my mom without feeling like there's an ulterior motive or that she really doesn't want to do it. Um, and so now as, my, as being a mom myself, I'm like, I realize I can totally realize that my mom was probably very stressed about something. My parents are divorced now and I can see where, you know, there was probably a lot of just anger in my mom's life. And, um, and so she was just taking her stress out on me and it just so happened that that just 
was one trigger for her. And, um, and from what I remember, like, it wasn't as though I was asking mom, like, oh my God, I just really want to go shopping. Like, it wasn't like that. I think it was one of those, hey mom, do you want to go shopping today? Like, do you want to go to the mall? And then it was just like an instant, like, anger from my mom. And, and it, so it wasn't like an annoying toddler that we kind of have that's like, mom, can we go shopping? Mom, can we go shopping? It was just one of those, like, hey, can we go shopping today? And it was just like a anger. And so what happened when I go through this money mindset talk is it's helped me realize um, that I, I feel bad when somebody is spending money with me or like I'm not supposed to be taking money and using it for myself. And so there's times when I've bought things where I've just felt like terrible. And then there's times where I like, I want to go and excessively buy because that's how my mom was. And so I just wanted to share this with you guys for you to go through this own practice. And you might see where you had instances from your childhood that bring up where money was not there or where money was there and taken advantage of, or where you personally just, your stance with it. Um, and so I just wanted to share that with you guys um, to just let you know that it, it can be a good thing to check this out. Um, so for me, sometimes I'm still over here, I'm like, the money should come. This shouldn't be this hard, which is really good. Like I, it, like I really do feel like that. I'm like, no, no, making money really isn't hard. Like it, it will come. Um, but then sometimes I get my paycheck and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> like it, did, it didn't, it didn't rain down. What happened? Um, so anyways, I just wanted to encourage you to go and do this practice for yourself. That's why this is going to be a shorter call so that if you have the time to do it tonight, you can do it. Um, and then if you find that you have some of your limiting beliefs, what you'll do is just, you can go back to our team call and you can do the one about release. And it was on, um, August 6th. So 8-6 unblocking limiting beliefs. And so that if you find that you have some sort of money belief and then you want to go unblock it, you could use that. So I know it was a little different, um, but I wanted to share that with you guys. And then I also just wanted to remind everybody that tomorrow or to me that next week's call before I get off of here, I just want to say this before I forget next week's call is not happening, but I will send out a, um, like a link that during the same time, if you want to just do your Enneagram test, um, because I would like to have a, a fun team call with all of that when we figure out everybody's Enneagram, which is a personality style. All right, so that's it. That's all I have for y'all. Any questions? Or did you have something? No, questions. No. Yes, no, maybe so. Different than some of our team calls, I know. But, um, but yeah. <laughs> Caleb's like, no. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to give everybody the rest of their evening back. We really appreciate you guys um, for popping on here. And um, just, yeah, we're really thankful for this team and this community. If you guys have any questions, um, just know that we're here and we're here to answer them. And we'll still answer some questions while we're on vacation. We just won't be checking things like too much. So Neil says, no, we're not answering questions. <laughs> Tamara's phone will possibly be shut on lockdown during vacation. I don't know yet. I'll, I'll, in my email to you guys on Sunday, I will let you know. <laughs> All right, y'all. I hope that everybody has a good rest of their evening. Right. See you guys. See you guys.